I always tell my students that yeast will spoil you. The only limitation to yeast in research is yourself. It's your brain. Yeast used to be the workhorse of the field before genetic engineering advancements, and instead of transitioning over to other systems, I continue to utilize this incredible source to evolve my work. From early on, I was drawn to molecular biology and genetics. The idea that there are processes and mechanisms that are constantly happening in living organisms is beyond fascinating to me. Towards the end of my PhD, I became interested in fly genetics and I began to read Ruth Lehman's work. She was an amazing female role model and she did beautiful genetics. So I interviewed with her and joined her lab at MIT in 1994. When I arrived in Boston, I had no idea it would become my permanent home and that I would eventually become a professor and run my own lab. In my lab, we study how chromosomes are divided during cell division. We also study what happens to cells when this process is faulty, a condition known as aneuploidy. This is medically really important because aneuploidy is a hallmark of cancer and causes birth defects. Most recently, we discovered that aneuploid cells are recognized by the immune system. Once we understand how this works, we may have the unique opportunity to combat cancer at a very early stage. I'm hoping that my work will help to accomplish that. I grew up in Vienna, Austria, with parents who fostered a love of biology and animals. And ultimately, I chose to follow the path of discovering the concepts of life and doing so in the United States, where what counts are your accomplishments and abilities especially for women and minorities. There is no better feeling than to obtain a result that explains a piece of biology. These eureka moments are rare, but when they happen, the feeling is priceless. <laughs>